Hey everybody, so it has been seven months since um, my surgery, which was on um, February 15th, 2018. It is now September 15th, 2018. So it's been um, seven months. Um, everything has been going good, no huge setbacks at all. Um, I've been able to run, I'm running now uh, three miles on a treadmill uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so three times a week. Um, and I'll hit the road um, every now and then. The road is a lot different than the treadmill, obviously. It's just that everyone obviously knows that the treadmill is easier. Um, but it's not just so much that it's easier because you're, the belt is pushing you along on the treadmill, but it's a different movement. It's a different... Um, you're using different parts of ligaments, different parts of your muscles when you're jogging on the street as opposed to the treadmill. I found that out the hard way because I was riding or running my treadmill, thought everything was going good, and I decided to run um, pretty fast um, on the road. And I pulled something and I was hobbling for, man, almost a week. And this was about a month and a half ago. One thing that I have learned, and I would stress this to everybody who has this surgery, take anti-inflammatories. That was something that wasn't told to me, but um, up until about four weeks ago, I was, it was tender. My foot was tender. It wouldn't get, it was just, I was able to do things. I was able to run, uh, you know, walk, you know, without any kind of limp but it was still tender still hurting when I was walking especially after I worked out I started taking a leave very important a leave is what I was taking and it's it makes a world of different I'm world of difference after I started taking a leave it seems like the pain just went away the inflammation went away um, I feel great um, I just finished running um, and I mean it's not even tender at all it feels great wonderful uh, another thing that I would recommend is um, and one thing I didn't do is when you're stretching obviously you you know pull your heel your you're pulling your toe towards your face you know that kind of stretch and then pointing your foot down that kind of stretch up and down however one thing that's very very important is when you're stretching you want to stretch your calf so you need to step on your tippy toes do like um, toe lifts or heel lifts rather like you're, you got your feet flat on the floor and then you lift up and try to be on the very tippy toes. That kind of stretch where you're stretching out and uh, flexing your calf, flexing that heel. That's very, very important. I just started doing that not too long ago and that's helped a lot. So definitely do that. So other than that, I mean, it's uh, so far so good. My plan is to start playing basketball um, next month in October, which will be eight months. The doctor said that I shouldn't start playing till about a year. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not right now. If I do play basketball, it's going to be very not so competitive where I'm jumping and trying to cut. I think it'll just be a lot of jogging, a lot of shooting. Um, I'll probably talk, kind of take it easy. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet in October. Um, I don't want to go through all this again. And if I tore something, I would be devastated. Devastated would be, a, to put it mildly, it's been a mental game uh, for for me. Um, anyone who does this surgery, it's gonna be a mental game. Um, but just remember that you know the ends in sight, and just um, do what the doctor tells you to do. Be proactive. Uh, just take care of your body and make sure that um, you're doing exactly what the doctor says, and not to overdo it. So. Other than that, that's about all I have to report. Everything's been going good so far, so I'll probably report next month, especially after I play basketball, and I'll let everybody know. Thanks. Bye.